Most likely, you all remember March 2018 perfectly well. It was then that Vladimir Putin told the whole world about the latest Russian weapons that are second to none. Back then, for the first time, the whole world heard about the latest Russian laser Perez VET, the Poseidon nuclear torpedo, the intercontinental ballistic missile of the fifth generation Sarmat, the hypersonic complex Avangard, the nuclear powered cruise missile Buravesnik, and hypersonic missile Kinzel. In 2018, the West reacted to the news about Russia's latest weapons in its characteristic manner. The West did not hide its ridicule, saying that this is all Putin's fantasies and that no country in the world can create such types of weapons. Once again, the excessive self-confidence of the West and the inability to soberly assess the true capabilities of Russia played a cruel joke with the United States. The next five years showed the world how the West was wrong not only about the latest Russian weapons, but also about Moscow's economic capabilities. The United States was confident that the collective West would be able to strangle Russia not only economically, but also in the field of the arms race. Washington believed that pressure on Russia and constant threats to Moscow would force the Russians not only to abandon the development of new types of weapons, but also to be more accommodating in the economic arena. However, the West once again made a grave geopolitical mistake, putting itself in a very difficult position. The bad habit of the United States to underestimate Russia has led to the fact that the collective West has weakened not only economically, but also significantly lagged behind Moscow in the development of new types of weapons. While Russia is embarking on the serial production of the world's first fifth-generation intercontinental ballistic missile Sarmat, and Poseidon nuclear drones are already on combat duty against the background of hypersonic Kinsel missiles, which destroy dozens of American Patriot systems in Ukraine, the United States still cannot create its own hypersonic weapon. And this fact began to worry the Pentagon very much. It seems that the American hawks have begun to sober up and understand the seriousness of the situation. So, a few days ago, the commander of United States Northern Command and the North American Aerospace Defense Command, General Glenn Van Herc, speaking in the U.S. Congress, recognized the defenselessness of the United States before the latest types of Russian weapons. Moreover, the American general also expressed his concern that even the impressively large U.S. defense budget would not allow Washington to correct the situation, since the Russians have probably already started developing new types of weapons. Thus, the U.S. military, together with officials, decided in an ultimatum form to demand from Moscow not only a complete halt in the development of the latest weapons, but also to ban the hypersonic complex Avangard, the intercontinental ballistic missile of the fifth-generation Sarmat, and the Poseidon nuclear torpedo, along with the nuclear-powered cruise missile Buravesnik. Moreover, American congressmen demanded from Moscow not only a full report on the exact number of these weapons, but also sending samples of all the latest Russian weapons to the United States in order to save the world from complete destruction. My friends, what happened next caused me to have a fit of hysterical laughter. In Russia, they reacted very harshly to the demands of the United States. Incredibly, Russian officials agreed to send samples of the latest weapons to the United States. However, in the state Duma, they warned American congressmen that the sending of the latest Russian weapons to the United States will take place on their own. Each of the Russian weapons will arrive in Washington on its own, bypassing the U.S. air defense systems, Russian officials said. This Russia's response may seem too harsh to many. However, in the current situation, only American officials should be blamed, since it was their excessive self-confidence and bad habit of underestimating Russia that brought the world to the brink of disaster.